Good morning, traders. Uh, good morning, traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, a simple strategy to identify the start of the area wave a correction. A simple strategy to identify the start of the area wave a correction. All right. So. The area wave, so I want to talk first about the area wave cycle. Trader that has been following us already know that, that the area wave cycle is formed of uh, the multi wave plus the correction. So when we are in a multi wave, when the multi wave is underway, how do we know that the correction okay, has started? All right. There are many ways that we can uh, determine whether the corrective wave has started. But today I want to show you a simple strategy okay, that can help you to identify the start of the correction. One more time, I would like to recommend to traders to watch the full length of this video so they may understand everything, all right? Because as I'm going up and up, I'm going a little bit deeper and deeper, all right? Because I want you to understand everything that you need to know, all right? So let's get started. As I say to traders that are following us at the Day Pro Trader YouTube channel, where I am busy talking about Pitchfork tool, I told them that uh, the most neglected trading tool is the Pitchfork tool. All right? Because if a financial instrument is trending, very often it will stay within the boundaries of the Pitchfork tool. There are videos that, that I've already posted at 248 Your Waves YouTube channel when I show traders how to combine the Pitchfork tool and the wave analysis. All right? So, all right? In your own time. So, how do we apply the Pitchfork tool? We put so. If you don't know how to use the Pitchfork tool, go to www.dayprotraders.com, www.dayprotraders.com, and click on Pitchfork tool trading. So we need a three point to draw the Pitchfork tool. It's a first point, second point, and a third point. So prior went up from A to B, so A to B, and then pull back to point C. We are going back to the beginning of point A, all right? So if with those three points, we can put the Pitchfork tool on our chart. So in order to identify the start of uh, the corrective uh, wave, it is essential that uh, we identify the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth wave. It's very important that we identify the motive wave. So traders are still uh, struggling a little bit with their wave count, must go to 24 wave. Uh, dot com and click on the wave count guidelines all right so and also with more practice so you may say george i'm not very good at wave count what can i do keep practicing keep polishing all right there's a video about how do you polish your wave count how do you improve your wave count check those video out and keep working on it polishing your wave count and slowly but gradually you will improve your area wave count so in order to determine the start of the quality wave it is okay essential that we count okay the wave correctly so our wave count should be valid wave count we also talk about how do you validate area wave count. So there is already a video about how can we validate the wave count. There is a video at 24aliawave.com that we call the secrets of area wave validation. All right. Okay. All right. So now once we see, so here I have a first wave, second wave, third wave that has been extended, fourth wave, and we are now in a fifth wave. All right. How do we know that, okay, a correction okay has started so the correction will start at the end of the fifth wave all right so we need to know uh, the end of the fifth wave and after that once we have identified that the fifth wave has ended that the price start pulling back we place the pitchfork tool on our chart the first point is the low of the first wave the second point is the high of the first wave and the third point is the low of the second wave with those three points we place the pitchfork tool on our chart now this is a guide this is a simple way 
okay, to determine the start of the area wave correction after a multi wave by using the pitfork tool. Because during the trend, during the multi wave, the multi wave very often will stay within the boundaries of the pitfork tool. So here you can see that the prior was inside the pitfork tool after the second wave, it was inside the pitfork tool. But if your wave count is wrong, as it's coming out of the pitfork tool, you'll think that a correction has begun here, but it's, this is not the correction yet. That's what I'm saying to you. It's essential that your wave count is accurate. Okay. So now, after we have identified that the fifth wave is ending and the prior is about to pull back, the the only way that we can know that the the correction has begun, you notice that the prior will come out of uh, the pitfork tool. This is the first indication to us that the a correction has begun. I also explained to traders in another video by using the moving average of 50. How do we combine moving averages and the area wave principle? Check it out. So a simple way to know that a correction has begun, if for instance here we see that the price come out of uh, okay, the pitfork tool, which it did now, you can see that it came out a little bit. Look carefully, look carefully, look what the price did. If I move my line, you see that the pitfork 2 is too far away. But if I adjust it, it looks like it's retested it. I don't know why this TC2000 doing that, because sometimes you move like this, you see it's like it's not touching. But you can see that it probably break below the pitfork 2 and it's trying to retest the edge of the lower part of the pitchfork 2. All right? So if a financial instrument is trending up, and we have now identified the end of the fifth wave. If the price is coming out of the pitfork tool, we can say that there is a high chance that a correction has begun. A very simple way to know that a correction has begun. But it becomes a little bit more complex. Why? Because you see now, we are on a monthly chart. And the area wave count on a monthly chart, all right, or an area wave cycle, on a monthly chart is a mini cycle in comparison to the area wave cycle on a higher time frame. Oh, I'm on a weekly chart, by the way. My correction traders, I'm on a weekly chart. All right, I'm on a weekly chart now. So, an area wave count on the weekly chart is a, a mono cycle, okay, a mini cycle on the yearly chart, for instance. All right, so with that in mind, though, you may say, because I'm on a weekly chart now, if it start coming out of this uh, pitfork tool, I will say that on the weekly chart, uh, it looks to me that a correction has begun. But don't forget that the cycle on a weekly chart is just a mini cycle of a bigger cycle. Because if you forget that, you can quickly get into trouble. All right? Though on a weekly chart, it looks like a multi-wave has ended, all right. Though on a weekly chart, that multi wave is a mini multi wave of a, a higher time frame multi wave. All right, <laughs> you understand. So that's why we use the first way to fork out the multi wave. So, for instance, if you see usually sometimes they get into trouble, for instance, on a weekly chart, you may see one, two, three, four, five waves. All right, so on a weekly chart, for instance, you may see one, two, three, four, five waves. All right, like this, okay without any violation of the wave principle, and then followed by, okay, a correction, bringing it to the 61.8% and 50% Fibonacci retracement zone, which we call the sweet spot zone. If you don't know what is the sweet spot zone, go to Day Pro Trader YouTube channel, check the video about the sweet spot Fibonacci trading by Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. All right, so you see that this on the weekly chart, you say, an earlier wave cycle has ended. No. Yes, on that time frame alone. All right. So the best way to put it to you is that an area wave cycle has ended on the weekly chart. Or an area wave cycle, okay, is completed on the weekly chart. But meaning that if we go to the higher time frame, if there is a bigger cycle, the trend may continue. So if you see one, two, three, four, five wave and the correction, 
We can label all this on a higher time frame. If you see this, for instance, on a lower time frame, like the one, two, three, four, five, plus the correlation, on a on a higher time frame, the corresponding higher time frame, that will be first wave, second wave, if we have a bigger cycle. Or that one, two, three, four, five wave will be just one of the motive waves of a higher time frame, either the first, the third, or the fifth wave. Right. So as I'm talking to you like this, you may say, George, uh, I'm not very sure. I'm not very sure. Okay, let me show you something else. So we're on a weekly chart. We see that this is coming now. We will say, it looks to me that a correction is about to begin because we have counted one, two, three, four, five waves. Now it's coming out of the piece for two. On the weekly chart, it looks to me that a correction has begun. All right. So now, if we go now to the yearly chart, Okay, because I can see the yearly chart, which I like. Okay, on the yearly chart. Okay, let's do exactly the same thing. So this is why we have done a weekly chart. This is my piece for two from the weekly chart. Now I'm going to move it away. And now we're going to apply the same method on the yearly chart. So here it is, first wave, second wave. We are now in the third wave. The fourth wave is not even underway. So something else I will show you here. If we apply the piece for two on the yearly chart, let's see what will happen. So for, we have to put it at the beginning of the first wave. The first point is the low of the first wave. The second point is the high of the first wave. And the third point is the low of the second wave. So one, two, three. Now I put my pitchfork tool. You can see that the price breaks above my pitchfork tool. All right. So how do we know now that a correction has begun? In this case, because the pitchfork tool, the price is now out of the pitchfork tool, but not below it, but above it. How do we know now that a correction has begun? So in this scenario, as you can see, we apply it like this, and the third in your way very often will go above the pitchfork tool. So here we see one, two, three waves. We are, we are now in the third in your way. On the, on the yearly chart, but on the weekly chart, we see the multi-way. That multi-way that we see on the weekly chart, one, two, three, four, five, on the weekly chart, is just the third in your wave on the yearly chart, okay? So remember that a wave count on a higher degree, okay, control the wave count on a lower degree. So the area wave cycle on a lower time frame is a mini cycle of a bigger cycle. So we want to know what is happening on a higher time frame. So this will help us to validate our wave call and to know that this is a true correction that has ended. The correction is now finished and a new trade is likely to begin. But if we, if we see the same thing on a five minute time frame, it's just an area wave cycle is completed on a five minute time frame. Okay? The corresponding higher time frame for the five minute, we should multiply five by 22, talking about the secret of area wave validation. Check it out at 24aliotwave.com. So in this case, as you can see, the pitchfork two is below okay, the price. In this scenario, what usually takes place, my friend, you will see that after the third area wave is completed, the fourth wave will pull back to retest the top of the pitchfork two. So our expectation is that one, two, three, professional, if the fourth way is underway, they will be expecting to pull back gently to retest the top of the pitchfork tool. Sometimes can even go, okay, to the media line of the pitchfork tool. All right. In that case, now that the price above the pitchfork tool, it makes it a bit difficult for us, okay, to know that, okay, uh, a correction has begun, yes or no. Okay, in this case, it will make it a bit difficult for us to know that a correction has begun. All right? If you do it like this, for the, if, you, if you draw your piece for two, so the first point is the low of the first wave, second point, the high of the first wave, third point, the low of the second wave. If the price breaks above the piece for two, you have to do something else. You have to wait for the fourth wave, and then you will apply again the piece for two. I will show you. All right? So... Because the price went above our pitchfork tool, how do we determine that correction has begun in this case? So, if the fourth way, so suppose this is the fourth way now, it's completed, okay? And now we, we, we have the fifth way that brings the price somewhere here, okay? All right? So if we had that scenario, because our first pitchfork tool is below the price, we will use three other points. 
this time, instead of using the low or the first wave, the high or the first wave, we will use instead, all right, the low of the third in your wave, the high of the third in your wave, and the third point will be the low of the fourth wave. If the price is a bow, okay, the pitchfork tool. Now, then we connect those three points. Now we have a new, okay, pitchfork tool on our chart. You see now? So in this case, this is the pitchfork tool that will show us that a correction has begun. And you will notice that the price slowly but gradually will come out of that pitchfork tool, indicating to us that a correction has begun. Is that simple enough for you? Now, as always, if you learn something new for the first time, uh, it's very important, okay, to practice, 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 all right, until you master it. All right? The opposite is also true in a downtrend, all right, we'll do exactly the same thing, but in a different way, in a downtrend, okay? So this is about, okay, when it becomes a little bit complex, but generally, by using a pitfall tool, connecting the low, the high, okay, uh, of the first wave, and the low of the second wave, if the, the multi-wave, okay, stays within the boundary of the pitchfork tool, once the price is out of after the fifth wave, after the fifth wave, if the price come out of the pitchfork tool, that can indicate to us that a correction has begun. But as you can see on the yearly chart, our first, by drawing our pitchfork tool like this, our pitchfork tool becomes obsolete, useless in this case, because the price went above it. If that is the case, we'll instead use the low, the high of the third wave, and the low of the fourth wave, drawing another pitfall tool that will help us to determine that a correction has now, okay, started. All right. But the most important thing that I don't want you to forget is that whenever you are talking about an earlier wave cycle or a corrective phase of an earlier wave cycle, remember that there are different cycles. All right. So. Just say that a correction on the yearly chart, a correction on the weekly chart has started. A correction on the hourly time frame has started. And now we know the ratio that we should use for the wave validation. All right. If you are on, you are on an X time frame, the corresponding higher time frame for the wave validation is the 22 times X. So we talked about it before. It's on our home page, 2 for area wave, the secret of area wave validation. All right, so you count waves, okay, on the daily chart. What is the corresponding higher time frame that I recommend to traders? Monthly chart, okay. All right, time is 22. All right, you count your uh, your waves, okay, on the hourly time frame. What is the corresponding higher time frame, okay? Daily chart, all right. So once you when you start talking about the corrective phase, it means that you have identified the motiway. The motiway is now completed, all right, which is the, 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 the end of the fifth wave. Now you are using the pitchfork tool, which is a simpler way to determine that a correction has begun. But one more thing, my friend, because you are maturing now as a okay, an earlier wave trader, you understand clearly that. The secret of earlier wave, okay, analysis is, is that they use the structure of the first wave to forecast the multi wave, but they also use the internal waves of the second wave to forecast the quality wave. So as we are applying, okay, the pitfall tool to determine that a correction has begun by Checking the structure of the second wave, we can have a bit by checking the structure of the internal waves of the second wave, we can have a bit of idea how the, the, the corrective wave will develop. The, sec the, the internal waves of the second wave allow us to forecast the structure of the corrective phase. But the simple way to determine that a correction has started is to use okay the pitfall tool 
either connecting the low and the high of the first wave and the low of the second wave, or the low and the high of the third wave and the low of the fourth wave. All right. Very, very important. And also, when you are doing that, remember that a cycle on one time frame is a mini cycle of a higher time frame. So when you are talking about a corrective way has begun, check the corresponding higher time frame to see that everything aligns carefully. And use also the structure of the second wave, okay, to know, okay, to have a bit of idea, the internal wave or the second wave, if you can see the internal wave, to, to, to forecast the structure of the corrective wave. There are videos at the two for in your way because as we are pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, we are reaching the top now, or we are able to forecast the end of the, the third wave. The, we, can, we can forecast now the end of uh, okay, the fifth wave. We can use the internal wave or the first wave to forecast the whole motive wave. We can use the internal wave or the second wave to forecast okay, the corrective phase. Now we want to know, we want to have a bit of idea, a simple way to determine that a correction has begun. All right? There are more to this about the corrective files, and I will be recording more video, okay, to explain it to you. But as you watch this video today, if you have more questions, put in a comment section, and I will look at them. And in due course, as I'm recording more video, I will talk about those questions. Right. We are the TSTWSYS008 traders talking about a simple strategy to identify the start of the earlier wave correction. Wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Speak to you soon.